Hello and welcome to the Daily Telegraph NRL podcast and he's back baby, Buzz. How are you? We're about to send a search party out for you, you're all good. Crook. You're all right? Crook. A lot of people were concerned about you. I thought you'd open this by wrapping my courage and then I continued working for the newspaper. What's the buzz? Uh, Monday buzz, but part my time. voice... Part time, part time. I'm a, well, I'm I haven't a, introduced uh, you yet, Brent yeah, Reed, sorry. ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Hey, yeah. Hello, people. I'm going to start off yeah. with a blue with you. Oh, here we go. What now? Is it 360 the, all over? What, no, what no. now? Well, this is my podcast, as our listeners know. <laughs> we'll mix in charge I today. will not have you ripping down <laughs> another stadium today. <laughs> Be careful. Shark Park's on my hit list. Uh, Shark well, what's Park? It well, you'd be doing us a favour. You'd be doing us a favour. You wouldn't be able to afford to put a back up. What about you want to tear down Acor? Worst Most th- outrageously stupid thing I've ever read in the newspaper. One of the worst stadiums in, <laughs> in rugby league. If we Do lose like Acor Stadium, there, yeah? if we, let's have it, let's get this out of the way. If we lose yeah. Acor Stadium, we lose the grand final, oh, hold on, we lose hold State on. of Origin, we lose Taylor Swift, we lose the material. We don't have anywhere can to you, play. Can you not misquote me? I'm I, not. You I, said, I said tear it down. Tear it down and use the money to build another stadium somewhere else. How it's you a terrible do that? stadium. Why is it terrible? It only have you needs been a there? roof. Hello? It They're only not needs a roof. They won't spend Chris the money Mims to put a roof on it. has already said they won't spend money, Reedy. Well, for There's the nowhere. Way. Private investment. The NRL. Wasn't the NRL chip in? Private investment. Do it together. Build the stadium. You run it. You make money out of it. That's a long-term investment. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh my God, have you been there to watch a football game? Yes, I have. On Origin when Night, was the it last should time be a major there, event stadium. Here's a question. No, oh, hold on. When was the last time you were <laughs> State there? State of Origin. When was the last time State you were there origin. to watch an, an average oh, football Reedy, game? Reedy, Reedy. Look, I when can't you... keep helping you, okay. seriously. If that stadium goes, we... You know what will happen with every major event? I'm you know what the Matildas will but play in Melbourne? To be fair, but he's, he's, he's not saying all? that... He's paying it all? He's not saying really? demolish it and don't rebuild. He wants a rebuilt stadium. Yes, a better stadium. A nicer stadium. A stadium. And I don't think anyone stadium. can argue with you that. You were at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. I saw you. There was there. only... You were in a corporate box... Yeah, Swanning and Tomahawk. Yeah, there's, and there's corporate boxes out yeah. there, but you keep forgetting the fact that the government will not spend money. And this is Suburban, the problem. A roof on Acor and They're not, Leichhardt, You just Shark said they won't Park. spend money on it. You just said they won't spend the money. They'll spend money, but not outrageous amounts that you want them what to spend. What do you spend. reckon a roof will cost? 100 mil. Oh, and then some. No, no. Well, how do you know? Why are you asking me if you already know? <laughs> More than that. And right. your Leichhardt coverage, you're a disgrace. I'll, save I'm sorry. That. I'll single-handedly save oh, that ground. You. Give yourself We're a We're going to put money in to save it. There are no. other issues, by the way, but I wanted to get that off my Mick, chest. can you take control? Uh, it's your just, show. You were, just, if you were the Premier... You allowed him no. to hijack your... <laughs> if you were the, the Premier oh, of this premier. state... Don't start me on the Premier. Taylor Swift had beat the MCG... Origin would be... I'm sorry, a, why can't Taylor Swift be at Allianz? Because it only holds 40,000. Phil, have you watched the Taylor Swift concert? They actually put people on the <laughs> playing surface as Doesn't well. Doesn't matter. You would get 60,000 in Well, there. where are you going to play Origin? Well, while you wait where for... Where are you going to... No, what you want to do with Origin, <laughs> play it at Allianz... And until we get a new stadium built. Until we get a new stadium built. Move on, Mick. You're host. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, Brent. He's lost control. You've, he's flustered, dude. I'm not flustered. He doesn't I'm know just, where we're uh, at. Uh, I don't know where we're at. We haven't even you, started can, yet. Can you, jo- can you actually jump on board? Oh, I'm with Reed. Uh, eight calls are dumb, oh, and it needs to be blown up and started again. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Throughout number two to one. two, don't. I love the way Buzz says I've been there. He's been to Origin Games. When was the last time Buzz went to Canterbury with the Gold Coast? Watch footy, Canterbury right? with the Gold Coast and a core. It's not an enjoyable ground to watch footy. It's a great ground. It it's is a, not a great I, ground. I'll finish on this note. It is not a ground for Canterbury and South Sydney to play at. They need to be at proper stadiums. It needs to be a Wembley Stadium type scenario where there's a dozen to 20 major events every year. How at does, that venue how does that, with a room. How does that finance? How do they... How does that finance oh, the stadium? Mate, look, I haven't got time to... <laughs> anyway, yeah. so... What, what's on your run sheet, by well, the way? Well, nothing, apparently. <laughs> Zach Lomax, hey? How about Zach Boyd? Really, you've been across this from oh, the beginning. Oh, well. um, No real surprise. No. What, what's uh, <laughs> transpired? Do you... Well, how do you see that decision by both parties, Zach and the Dragons, to cut ties at the end of the year? 
Well, I just think it's time, isn't it? It feels like it's just time that that uh, marriage was annulled and, and Zach moved on. And I don't have an issue with the Dragons giving giving him permission now to negotiate negotiate with other clubs. I think it's a smart move because they've terminated his contract beyond this year, frees up a lot of money for them in the salary cap. They've got time time to go and find someone to spend that yeah. money on. Zach's got time to go and, go and find a new club. Well, I think we'll, I think we all think he'll end up at Parramatta, I think. Mm. That's basically um, a fait accompli, right? But how desperately unhappy must he be? Yeah. Because there's no way he's going to get 800 at get, Parramatta. It's, right it's quite remarkable. It is. But it, Brady, I reckon he'll cost himself half a million. Over the, over the over course, the course of, of the, yeah. Deal, yeah, yeah. next couple of years. Yeah. So right. when you're a kid, how old? 24. 24. Yeah. When you're at his age, it just shows how much he, the serious dislike he's got. Yeah. I think, uh, in a way, I, I think it shows maturity from both parties because Zach could have easily have said, look, it's not working out. I know I'm overpaid, but I want my 800. And he could do that by saying... Could, yeah. And he could yeah. do that by saying to the Dragons, well, you chip in 100, mm. 200, whatever the case may be, and I'll go elsewhere to get the rest off the book. So I think um, it's a win for both parties yeah. because Zach's obviously unhappy there, as you said, Buzz. For the Dragons, they free up a huge amount of their cap, right? Mm. There's no doubt he's not an $800,000 yeah. player. I don't think anyone can argue with that. But in Zach's defence, the way he's played this year, oh. outstanding. And, the, and for him to walk away... Without a guarantee, obviously there would have been some informal conversations, Doing right? These. But he he's gonna he's not gonna get eight hundred. But right? if you were rating the top few wingers in the game on this year on four rounds of footy, I'd I'd nearly have him in my top three. Yeah, but isn't the issue he doesn't want to play in the wing? Yeah, no, but I'm so that's, just that's saying issue, no, what right? I'm the only reason I'm <laughs> saying that it's an absolute credit to him mm. that while he is unhappy, he's so committed. Yeah. Maybe that is his best position, Bus. He hasn't dropped his bundle, has he? Paul no, no, Gallum yeah. reckons he can play Origin on a wing. Ben well, Hunt has said that too, and the way well, he's playing, well, Madge, Michael Maguire's Madge reached out to him. To him right? Because there's not an abundance of, of wingers <laughs> for, for New South Wales. Um, so he's every chance of playing Origin on the wing, and that would be remarkable to, to hmm. think a guy that doesn't want to... Bus, surely it's got to be more than just not playing on the wing, though. I don't think he'd be saying to Madge, I don't want to play on the wing. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey? Yeah, probably not. Looks a bit like Ben Hunt playing hooker. I mean, no, but as you said, it's a nice separation, this one. Yeah. Uh, oh, they, they've all handled it with class. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I applaud St George yeah. for giving him an opportunity to find somewhere else. There was no need to keep an, an unhappy footballer at a club. Well, we say that, but what about Ben Hunt? Ben Hunt, obviously... Well, that, that's the fear, right, Mick, that it sends a message to Ben, because Ben tried to do the same thing last year, right? Um, they're different scenarios. You're talking about the captain of the footy club, the, the chief playmaker, the guy who, whilst he has wanted out, hasn't really given the appearance that he... he not playing wise. He's not. Yeah, he's not going to drop his stand. Well, I yeah. suppose Zach's the same, right? But it's a. Yeah, you know, he's a, as I said, he's a captain of the footy club. He's their, their chief. Is it double maker. standards, Buzz? I don't think it's dragons. double standards because one's replaceable, the other's not. I would say it is double standards, but double standards are everywhere in football. But and always the star players, the biggest names, and Ben's the no, biggest name in that footy hold club, on, here's they a, get treated differently. Here's a million dollar employee yeah. in a position where they can't replace him. Yeah, that's There's I, no one. I agree. Yeah. Um, one <laughs> of their halves is um, Kyle, banned. Kyle. Oh, so, uh, Junior Moan. Yeah, yeah, Ju yeah. Junior Moan's banned. They yeah. let Sullivan go. Yeah, they yeah. have no halves. They actually don't have a yeah. backup half in the club. So really. he's an employee there. Yeah. And he's under contract there. Yeah. I, I honestly think, Rudy, that you just, you know, it's about roster balance. And yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I think um, it's a good decision for both parties. Zach gets what he wants, gets out. The Dragons clear up $800,000 off their cap. And as I said, to Zach's credit, to walk away from that uh, shows a, a great deal of maturity from Mick, him. Mick, I would be interested to hear Ben Hunt's views on it given what he went through last year. Uh, he'll tell us at year. some point. I know, he did. Very, <laughs> he's an open book, Ben Hunt, right? So he's a I'd, good talker, isn't he? I'd love to hear his take on it, mm. given he was re refused the same opportunity last year. Mm. Um, and, you know, I'm sure Ben will, as he always does, he'll probably give us his his forthright opinion on it, yeah. but he'll move on and play footy, because that's yeah. what Ben does. Yeah. Um, I, I'm really, really excited about St George, guys. Really? 
Uh, well, with that cap money up their sleeve and they played Newcastle, which I think is potentially another winnable game for them. Have you tipped them? Uh, I haven't. Not, <laughs> not up in Newcastle, yeah. but it's really good for the comp that St George and the West Tigers are highly competitive. When you look at the clubs from last year, the ones that are at the bottom of the ladder, towards the bottom, the Dragons, they've improved, right? Yep. The Tigers, they've improved. The Dogs have they've improved, improved yeah. right? How have they improved? Well, oh, oh, the oh, the one, goodness, the, the Mick, the one, Mick the, let me pull you up. <laughs> <laughs> I knew... <laughs> you no, just had no, to wave no, the red flag, didn't no, you? <laughs> they haven't improved. They are better than they were last they've, year. They are not better than they were last year. They're averaging 15 points a game this year. Last year, they averaged 18 points a game. So they are not better. It's a well, small sample well, size, Buzz. It's four games. Like it's reflect. still a sample. That yeah. doesn't reflect it. Oh, it doesn't look like okay. that. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the be all and end all. It doesn't mean they're not a better footy side. Defensively, I think they're showing well, a bit what more What have they averaged guys? defensively? I often say what have they averaged? De- oh. Sorry for having an opinion. <laughs> what have What have they uh, averaged defensively? I haven't looked. It's probably better. Oh, I'd say. Oh, uh, you can't like. They're, look, to they're, they're a tougher, stronger. They're a better side than last year. Okay, you do, you agree with that? I'm not saying they're making the top eight buzz. I'm just saying they're a better side than they were last well, year. Well, he reckons the sample size is too small. The, tig- so no <laughs> the Tigers are a better side than last year. Yes. The Dragons are a better side than last year. And the only one that looks worse is the Titans. Oh, oh that's an understatement. How bad are they? Oh, are they just a lock for the they winning They're opening to the season through lack of points, lack of quality, hmm. is the worst I reckon in 20 years. It's worse yeah. since Newcastle. When Newcastle had that season where they won what one game and drew one or something like that in the whole year, they were but they had a few points in them. Yeah, they got nothing. And a worse those. roster. You know, Des. Why don't you? No, why don't you come out and say, did they make a mistake sacking Justin Holbrook? Yes. Well, yeah. it's again. Yes, it's three oh, games. Oh, sample size. It's three but games. <laughs> but on the on the surface, <laughs> on what we've seen so far, <laughs> so it's you're been running with me, aren't you? An abs. What are you saying? A complete and utter ham-fisted mistake. I have uh, always uh, highly regarded uh, Justin Holbrook. You're a Des man, though. I like Des, I do. I like Des. Um, Very expensive mistake. I hope he can dig him out, but I don't think he can. Very expensive mistake if it's not right by the Titans. Oh, my goodness, yeah. But look, people make expensive mistakes. Mate, Penrith sacked... Ivan Cleary. <laughs> no, no, Penrith sacked Ivan Cleary. It's I'm not right. mentioning. Hold on. They then signed Griffin. They then extended Griffin. Then they sacked Griffin. Who did that? Then and they <laughs> no, no. Did, I'm just saying. Who was who did that? And if they had their time over again, they'd do it again. Look where it's ended up. <laughs> so you think it was good, smart, dude? They just won three comps. I'm not going to knock them for you. But why did you go in the first place, oh, you guys? The, t- the Titans have made too many mistakes, though. So that's the problem. This club can't get started. Every t- time you think they're oh, no. turning a corner, they take five steps backwards. And the start to this year has been an abomination. And there's people talking now they might win a game. I think they'll, they'll, win, a they'll win a game, right? But it's there are some people who think this side's so bad, they're so diabolical, they've lost Tino for the year, <laughs> their best player by the length of a straight. For Fido won't tell them what he's doing. They've got no halves. He's going to stay, Buzz. He's going to stay. They got well, no only because no one else will no, give him a million. Brimson yeah. can't get into the game. Well, he's in the centres and he's just a waste. Oh, Dragon should sign AJ Brimson. Oh, hold on. Um, oh, so you want to sack Sloan there? Play halves. Who's yeah? Oh, AJ. Yeah. Yeah, Play okay. six. Oh, I know we Cole. got a Regis question. Nine. But Cole Flanagan's going good in the house. He's going good. Hey, well, going you've good. gone completely so, off track here. Yeah. Well, were we supposed to talk Tigers at some point? Not yet. This was okay. Mobsy's strong point. Mobsy was very strategic. I think in it that was. Chair. <laughs> Has he been saying? He could. He could stick to a run sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Would we allow him to Pick up your game. Would we allow him to stick <laughs> right? to the run sheet? Well, we touched on the Bulldogs. Buzz, what, uh, how would you rank their recruitment out of 10? Buzz? Um, I'll back you on this, Buzz. Six? 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 Oh, wow, that's higher than I anticipated. Uh, uh, no, what I will say is that without Cameron Serraldo and his relationship with Penrith players, they're absolutely stuffed. He, no one else, signed the three big Penrith players, right? Mm. As I've said, 
heard him on 360 the other night too to sign seven utilities who are six and a half, seven out of who not starting 13 set there rather than they could have got Fanua Blake well, mm. they, yeah. you know you know what happened and this story hasn't been told properly mm. Cronulla were in the race for Fanua Blake and got him in the end you know how they got their money to sign Fanua Blake Connor Tracy because Canterbury took Connor Tracy mm. So Canterbury were talking to Fennell Blake at the same time, but took Tracy and left Cronulla. That's not good recruitment. No. That's not strategic. No. It's not smart. What about you, Freddie? Well, you I've, made, I've made my feelings quite clear. I think the recruitment's been poor. Out of because 10? Because uh, I give it a five at max. What do you think? No, I, I'd give it probably a six as well. I didn't finish yeah. then. Sorry. Can I keep going? Yeah. Who do you blame for that then? Well, it's a combination of everyone. Well, no, who do you blame? Well, name names. Well, Gus is the head of football. Right. He oversees everything. Right. My issue is we all knew what their problem were. Problems yeah. were. Yeah. Where they were deficient. And yep. Fanua Blake would have solved one of their massive problems, which is their, their front row. Front row halfback. Front row halfback. And their Full halfback. Back. Terrible. Yeah, well, I, was, well, I thought... Tuffy's not a... Croy no, he's not. Crichton could have played can play fullback at a pinch, right? And they've never really given that a red hot go. I wonder whether they will at some point. I had a look at his ball touches the other day. He's getting nearly as much ball mm. as he got at Penrith, but it's not quality football no. that he got when you yeah. with Cleary and Luai and, and, uh, and etc. But to me, he still something. looks like a Rolls Royce. Yeah. Who ain't, you know. There are issues at house. I mean, people still. I don't know if Matt Burton's a 5'8. I, I, I can't work it out. Um, and Drew Hutchinson's just, he just lacks a bit of speed and he can't really threaten the line. So it's very one dimensional. Was there a lot out there? They but went you know why I picked Drew Hutchinson? I remember Cameron said it. Oh, mm. he was the best trainer in the off season. Yeah. He won all the time trials. That make you first grade halfback. I'm not sure Sexton's the answer either, though. He's, no, he hasn't I'm not really either. Convinced. No, he's not the answer. Well, there was Moses, there was Brooks. Why did they sign Sexton last year then? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Well, because they. It, what was all turned? As I said, and they shot me down the other day. Bradley Schneider was around, you know. Well, Schneider's. We would have been saying the Come same on. conversation. Would Did you watch have... last Friday? I mean, he was Buzz, playing for Penrith. We would be having the same conversation. You could play halfback for Penrith and look good. We'd be having. Well, the, same the kid at the West Tigers is playing for two-time wooden spurners, the 18-year-old. Yeah. 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 You know, the the, the good, good yeah. players will look at Jack Cogger. Jack Cogger was outstanding last year at Penrith, right? Mm. He's gone to Newcastle. He started the season reserve grade. Yeah. He's had, what, one mm, game? Sean O'Sullivan. And they've shipped it him round. Sean O'Sullivan. Yeah. Blokes, it's like the old Melbourne syndrome. Blokes mm. look good down there. In, blokes look good in Melbourne yeah. because they're in a great team and they're really well coached. When they leave that system, it's not as easy. Well, Brody so Croft Snorty, was, Brody Croft was one from Melbourne, mm. wasn't he? Yeah. So you what about Troy Pissette? He's a good player. Jonah, yeah. Jonah, Jonah is a very good I'm player. But again, part. in the Melbourne system, but here's a kid that the club's going to sniff around. He's got a year left on his deal. If I'm Canterbury, I'll be looking and at Jonah Pezzett. good halves coming off. But Ben Hunt, the end of next year. Well, Jonah's the end of next year. Yeah. There's, um, there's, there's none this year for next year, right. basically. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean anything, does it? No, of no. course, of course. But no. they, they were in for Jerome Luai, they were in for Mitch Moses. They can get Bud Sullivan. Yeah. Well, you him. might have to bring your man Chad down to the Bulldogs for a year, mate. Potentially. What about Bud Sullivan? Yeah, you seem to rate him a little bit higher than most. <laughs> Not as yeah. high as Scott Fulton. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got no... Oh, you, got, you, got oh, no <laughs> you built Manly side. <laughs> no, he did. He built Manly. The side that... I'm just saying, Jaden Sullivan was a Scott Fulton signing, yes or no? Yes, he was. Okay. Um, do you want to go through the other one? The West... <laughs> You with me? <laughs> what, what about the big uh, Fainu? Samuel, a very He's good player. He's going good, Samuel. Very good He's player. He's going good. Can, what I, else you can got? I just check? So <laughs> all you said to Reedy is that he rates Jaden Sullivan more than most, and I just said not as much as Scott Fulton. Yeah. Yeah. Reedy didn't pay him half a mil. Yeah. He's done more than that, I think. It goes up. That's Sam <coughs> Samuel. Samuel, a very good player. looks outstanding. Very good player. No, he looks really good. And isn't Stefano having a... Benji's driven a lot of those signings, though, too. Justin Ollam, Benji drove that. Been great for the first great three signing. weeks. Very good. Benji drove that. Jerome Luai, Benji drove that. <coughs> uh, I year. think you'll find Justin Pascoe was involved very, very heavily in the Luai signing. I think you'll find Benji drove that. Oh, Met him right. personally. And Who signed the, the centre line. bus? Uh, Shane Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon for Tarpy. He's been pretty good. Has he's it? been pretty good, yeah. Well, mate, he's I'm happy for him, mate. I'm happy for you. <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, can you run us quickly yeah. through the strategic plan oh, as the Tigers? This will do, mate. <laughs> strategic plan <laughs> on a piece of A4 paper. <laughs> they brought out Let's a plan. Let's be positive about the Tigers. Well, well, I, think what, good I think what's positive about it is this, they've acknowledged that they've ignored the southwest of, southwest of Sydney, which is something but a lot do of... Do you need a strategic plan to work that out? No, but it's a strategic <laughs> plan about how they're going to make the most out of the southwest of, and west of Sydney. And when they don't even know they're where gonna they're going to play. They're, they're going to set up an office in southwest <laughs> Sydney. Johnny Skandalis, Shannon, Shannon Galanda be going to be based there. They're going to cultivate that area, tap into it, get more talent out of it. It's one of the great growth areas in Sydney. Look, they haven't set a target on how many premierships they want to win, which is smart because we all know how that works out. Look yeah. at Rayland Castle, look at um, Steve, <laughs> Boros, Steve oh. Mitchell. And they set targets up in Gold what Coast they, and Canterbury. They, you know, they just want to be a top four team. And look, they've what's the problem? They've a strategic plan, Rudy. They it's, don't know where they're going to play. Well, no, they don't. No, they you have no idea where they're going to play. But they've outlined in that strategic plan that they're going to go through but a it's process. it's not a plan unless you're planning for something. But they're, they're pla- they've, they, but they've done a strategic <laughs> plan without knowing where they're going to finish on the ladder. But why would you well, put you that can't in? Because that, that leaves you open to why? blokes like you hammering them. If they don't no, achieve it. You can't put you can't because really if you're not You've got to set goals. Well, so goal, the, goal to, the goal is to win comps. That's everyone's goal. Well you've got to set goals. No. They have. They've I, set I I think it's silly when clubs say, like, I'm with Bob, I agree on this one. If you say, yeah, well, I want to win a comp. Who did they speak to to do this strategic plan? Oh, I'm sure they spoke to numerous people. Reedy wrote it. <laughs> Look, do you remember when Raylene, do you remember, the actual major shareholder of the Holman Barnes Group? Can I ask you something? Who are about to spend the Holman $15 Barnes Group million dollars on plan. a new leagues club at Balmain, right, on Victoria Road, on that right. site that's been neglected Is that for actually so going to happen, Buzz? Yes, I'll, I'm just writing something on Sun, but they're okay, about sorry. to spend $15 million there on a right. fit out, right? Yeah, good, good. And you want to take their biggest audience on game day away. Has Rich has spoken to them? Does he know that this... They're aware of what he's doing. Yes, the board are aware. Yes, of course they are. Look. Hold on, are you saying... No, no, look. Are you saying that that Lee's Club at Belmain, that old building there... Richo and Barry O'Farrell have been in the job five minutes, right? Yep. I think to do a proper strategic plan, you need to dive a little bit deeper... You need to speak to all and not come up with something in three or four weeks' time. In three. You, I, I must stress this. This is a... NRL. <laughs> this is the future of a two-time wooden spooner. What, what's the problem with them doing this? I don't understand. Well, I think it lacks, as it? I said, it lacks detail. Anyone can get there and say, we've got 6,000 members next year, 8,000, blah, blah. Following you to, anyone can do that. But, uh, Mate, you could go to Roselle Kindergarten and do that. <laughs> Mate, you could. Buzz, it's just a, it's it's just an initial plan they put in place. Initial right? plan. Is there going to be sure, another one, is there? I'm sure there will be a deeper plan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm talking about. But this about. is something initially to say, this is what our goals are. This is our... This is our uh, what, where we want to focus, what we want to do in the next couple of years Mate. to get this club heading in the right direction. And, and, and what's and wrong look, with look, that? Look, I hope you're right because so do you many people. Pe- no, right? no, no, so many people are so excited about yes. what Benji has done, <coughs> but it's a fortnight, a footy. It's a long. I way to go. would desperately love to see him keep going. Do you think they've done enough in the southwest? No, but we didn't need a strategic plan to work that out. I've said time and again. They made a commitment to it. Desco came out of South West Sydney. Did yeah. Israel Folau came out of. Jared Hayne came out of that. Who do you blame? That's why they bought Scott Fulton in. Mm. Best recruitment eye with Peter O'Sullivan in the game. Apart from Bud Sullivan. Apart from Bud Sullivan. Do you know what I mean, guys? It's (coughs) well, let's just. Let them enjoy their moment, yeah. I'd say. Just but Mick, I'd rather know. I'd rather see them lock down a stadium agreement. Well, and I, I agree. I want three at Leichhardt, three Campbelltown combo. You won't get it. I'm what? telling you, you won't get it. How oh. many do you think they'll play one? They what will, are you on the board now? The, they will, in the next 90 days, you will have a stadium policy. They'll knock yeah. it over in the next three months. And at max, it'll be two at Leichhardt, two oh. at Campbelltown. Are you on the board you, there? Are were you, you at Combank on Sunday? Can I ask you? Mick no, I was wasn't. there. I Mick. was there, yeah. yeah. Right? That was a that was a Parramatta home game. Yeah. 
right? Mm. Unbelievable atmosphere. It was. And, and the amount of, of money they, the they would make yeah. the Tigers if they played there mm. is ridiculous. And this... Well, it's this a game, different audience because I think... Look... You were there. I was there. No, no I, I actually think it's a strength of the club that they they are a merged entity and they do have different fan bases. You have your Leichhardt fan base yep. who will not travel to Combank. You have those in between. You do. No, there is there is an element of the inner west that will go to, I said this last week, that will go to Leichhardt and go to Henson Park. That's just the vibe. That, that's, there, there is, Brady. There is. Well, pick up your act. No, nah, that's just... If but they're it's, listening, it's part of the start scene. It's travelling. It's part of the scene. It's, they, they're just... Part of the scene, man. It is in the inner west. They just want to walk down, go to the pub, have a few crafts, craft beers, (laughs) and sit on the hill. That's what they do. I'm going to interrupt. You're going good. (laughs) I just agree with you. Rate him as a host. What do you think? You give you an eight. I'll give the better better mark than Canterbury's recruitment. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, what do you think I should do as a race show? Mick, I'm going to throw it back on you because you're an intelligent mind. What do you think your race show grounds should be? 3 3 8. I love like three, that. 3 3 8. That's a 40 <laughs> games. Oh, well. <laughs> what well, Parramatta games? 2 2 8. 2 2 8. Two, two Campbelltown, two I Leichhardt, don't, I don't eight think, I, I, I mate, don't think it's enough for Leichhardt, all about, this is, you, you think they should have more Leichhardt? Mate, you know what this is about, oh, Brady? This is about you, as a media representative, right, yeah. who can't find yourself a park at Leichhardt, so <laughs> you've, actually, you've park. actually got to walk half a kilometre. You haven't got a nice press box, it's warm, terrible. it's embarrassing, with hot food. No, this is it's mate, embarrassing. The it's press not box the worst about is rookie. you. I, I know it's not about me, but it's a ter- it's an awful ground. Anyway. Do you not? If they don't spend money on it, it will collapse. <laughs> Wait, you, what, what did you say last week? Be careful of the scoreboard. Don't sit under the scoreboard. It's about to fall over. Anyway. Just quickly, boys. DCE, yeah. uh, Daly Cherry what Evans, a, a significant, a, a huge milestone for him this week. He goes past mm. Cliff Lyons' record as the most capped Manly player. Obviously, Steve Menzies' games for Northern Eagles aren't included no. in that total number. But um, you guys have seen lots of footy. Where does, where does uh, Cherry rank for, for you, Reedy? Um, he's on the podium. I think Bozo, um, Cliffy, well, the podium's only got three. There's probably <laughs> four, isn't there? Beaver and him. Um, he's I mean, an all-time great, though. He's, oh, he's right up there. In terms of Manly, um, he deserves to be spoken about in the same breath with those other guys. I mean, right. he's a, his longevity is amazing. He's still one of the fittest blokes in the place. Crazy. 30, crazy 34, fit. 35. And um, he's changed uh, too much, over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Much, much better person than when he was a young fella and yeah. made mistakes like all young players do. And um, remember the Jackson Hastings fallout and yeah. fight they had up in Mackay or wherever it was. And mm, now yeah. look at his leadership now. <laughs> it was interesting. And, and you know what? Mm. When you talk his leadership, think back eighteen months, two years to the Pride jersey and how yeah. splintered and fractured that club was. And for him as captain of the organisation to, you know, obviously play. There was talk Jake Turbo wasn't talking to him there, but, you know. (laughs) What was that, Turbo? Did you write that story? Yeah, that was a great time. It was tense, I think. They weren't on great terms, though. (laughs) But it was was interesting talking to him yesterday, (laughs) Nick, because he said, um, you know, he acknowledged when he was younger, when he made his debut, that he was... He had a touch of arrogance about him and a self-belief that was would grind against other players. And we all heard the stories back then about, you know, he didn't get on with Chuck Watmo and Glenn the Stewart, Stewart, the Stewarts, yeah. right? And he, I think he acknowledged that, yeah, I would have been a difficult bloke to be around back then. Um, but, you know, he matured and I just think changed. That I never had a great relationship signed, with him back then either. Well, he signed a, what, what, how long was the deal? Eight years? Or yeah. What was the deal? Eight year deal, whatever the case may be. Yeah. And his value stayed the same throughout the deal. Do you know it? Like so that's quite full. <laughs> I, think it was, I think it was. I think it was Bozo. Yeah, I yeah. think it was Bozo to keep him at I'm the club. That story. Uh, Bozo leaked it to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. did Sorry for me first. <laughs> huh? I did. Wow, good, good job. story, Bozo. Go and have a look at the back page. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Well, but I, I think it's remarkable Beautiful. that his his value has yeah. probably gone up, if not stayed yeah. the, at the very least stayed the same um, throughout that that contract. He's got what, a year. what was the best one Bozo gave you, Bud? So we yeah. Um. I think I wrote it in his obituary. Bozo was an Australian selector, and Jared <coughs> Hayne was still playing for Parramatta. And Hayne rang Fulton 
and said, I'm not available for the tour. Baza said, why? He said, I'm about to sign a NFL contract. Oh. And to Baza's credit, he was straight on the phone to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he was. He said, hurry up, you know, because he won't be in the team when we announce it now. So. Wow. wow. What about... Um, Good yarn. Yeah. He's a great yeah. yarn. He's on... Uh, so what's he on? He goes to 310 this week. Um, Beaver's on 349. Daly's got a year left in his contract. But I, I get the feeling he might go on beyond that. The way, the way he's playing, yeah, he is still, what, the number two half in the game? Yeah. Half back in the game? Yeah. Behind Nathan. I think Mitch is putting a bit of heat on him these Cleary, days. Cleary, DCE, Hughes, Mitch, Hughes, Jerome Hughes. There's some goodies. What but about, mate? What I'd have him at two. What Jerome about Adam, good mate, what about Adam Reynolds, Reynolds last week? Oh, yeah. Very good. Outstanding. Great kicking game. Outstanding. Top with this comp, there's eight great halves and eight shit ones. <laughs> Beep. Not totally. We've got to have crap. <laughs> We've got to have a bleep button. But, but you know what I mean? They're yeah. average. Average. They're just below. Right. This is this yeah, is yeah. yeah. Pod questions. Oh, what do you got from Matthew? Matty Maxwell. Both the dogs and bunnies have home games this weekend at Acor and are unlikely to have decent crowd numbers for the size of the stadium. <laughs> Would it not be worth considering double headers, boys? Double headers for Sydney teams. Not a bad idea for a Super Saturday or something, guys. Who they got? The dogs got uh, Roosters. Roosters. Mm-hmm. South six, Warriors. Six p.m. game on Saturday. South Warriors. Yeah, there'll be a couple of. Yeah, oh, I've got a better idea. Don't play it. Don't play it at the core. Yeah, I'm happy. Not bulldoze the joint and build a new stadium for them. Yeah, I'm happy for club games to go. So so apart from it. the big Easter games, you know. Well, when are we going to get South to Alliance? Seriously. Well, South Roosters, you've got to strategically do it. South Roosters. Should be Alliance. Yeah, the yeah, Roosters home game. game. And yeah. Stuff, yeah. All right. No, but South should be playing at All right, enough stadium talk. Aussie Raider. When did Parramatta start looking at a coaching change? Ooh. Ten years at the helm and same results. I believe Brad Arthur's time is done and need fresh eyes and a new voice. Is this your burner account, Mick? Oh, I, 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 I want Mick's opinion on this. Oh, I think if they don't make the finals, he's gone. I agree with that. You think if they finish eighth? And they limp out again, I'd probably make a change. You would bring in? Wayne Bennett. Mm. With that senior playing group, with that playing group <laughs> where they're at, they've got a short shelf life. Yep. This this team with Gutherson and Moses and Barlow and Regan Campbell Gillard they're all getting they're all turned on the other side of 30 at, at some point so um, I think this season's big for him I think Brad I'm with you I think he needs to play finals footy it doesn't help that you lose your halfback for two three months Andrew hey it does because we go back to recruitment the fact that Brad was overseeing recruitment when they let that outstanding kid go to the West Tigers Lockie Galvin oh, Lockie Galvin. oh I don't think I'm not Brad. sure that's Brad's, I don't think it was Brad's fault. Fault. Oh, I'd say Brad doesn't Oh, the kid was 13 or 14. That's four, pretty young. Four How old was he? He was 13 or 14 yeah. when they were in game. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'd that's be sorry. A, that'd be a sorry, I'll withdraw that then. Oh, sorry, I thought he left later than that. No, no, he, was no he was pretty young. He was pretty young. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, it's... it's it's oh, sorry, a young no, age to no, be that's ten. Not right, is it? No, it's, 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 it's playing held mass, whatever that is. What's that? That's seventeen. 17. Sorry, he was seventeen. Yeah, it's no, a, I'll take it it's back. a young sorry, age to be turning kids wrong. away, you know. And 17. someone should have had the vision. <laughs> I don't think Penrith would have let him go. Hmm. Yeah, Penrith, Mats and Bourne not playing finals. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, Bring back Gus. You know, <laughs> Andrew says, noting I am blocked by Buzz. Yep. Oh, wow. What did, did he, he say? Do you what you no, no. Would have been rude. There's been significant... I don't tolerate fools. I just I just, <laughs> I just, just mute them now, Buzz. Yeah, yeah mute's mute. a better way to go, Buzz. Then you don't, they don't know they're blocked, and they can just go but for I their like life. But I like letting them know they're blocked. No, oh, okay. I don't give them the satisfaction. <laughs> There's been significant improvement in Kyle Flanagan this year with That's his dad true. as coach. He's now playing like a first grader. My question is, does Matt Burden's dad have his coaching ticket? <laughs> 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 That's interesting. Yeah. I tell you what. I tell you what. Pretty harsh on that Burton. This is funny. a joke. You it's don't funny. find that funny? Yeah, it's amusing. Yeah. I, I laughed when I read that. I'm Would happy you? for Cole because his old man put himself under enormous pressure signing him mm. after disappointing stint at Canterbury. Yeah. And I saw Cole and his dad on the Gold Coast at Kira Beach Hotel in January. Had a chat to him and I loved his attitude. You know? He's always been a really nice no, kid, he's hasn't he? Kid, yeah. He's a really nice kid. Always forthright, right, always loved. respectful. <laughs> and, mate, confidence can be a big thing when you get knocked mm. around and chopped by the roosters and then yeah. struggle at Canterbury. But No, it's good to see him doing well. He's got a potent edge around him, and that combination is building. Yes. I, I wonder, is, is 
Well, they bought him to play hooker, right? Well, I, I, honestly, I think they bought him to play 14. Yeah, okay. hooker, back up half. So what's the long-term plan here? Do you think it is for him to... You, you know the Dragons better than me. Is it for him to eventually go I, back to that? I think that Shane is of the belief that his best position will eventually be hooker. Yeah. But if he keeps playing... Yeah. Well, we've seen. Well, you're not going to move him, particularly no. if you can't, unless you can sign some halves. There's not a lot of halves out there. Bud Sullivan. Well, I think, I think what will be is if they find a half, he'll move to yeah. hooker. If they find a hooker, they'll stay in the halves because yeah. they're looking for both those positions. So, um, I've got a hooker for them. They're going to double it. Hey, Jimmy, I'm just doing the podcast, mate. You're live on air. <laughs> James Silver, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you're live on air. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, wow. good, good chat. Bye. Good, good contribution. <laughs> right. um, what about Brand, Brandon Smith? He's got an option in his contract. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. I think they've discussed it. I'm not sure they're going to May, gonna go down that path. Got May 30. Come yeah, on, move on. Mate. All right, Michael anyway, okay. wants to know, what do the NRL and referees... <laughs> these are emails that I received. What What do the NRL and referees hope to achieve by 12, 12, 24, 48 hours after the event coming out in a minute and they got it wrong? Accountability. Transparency. Done. Mm. Mark. Must say, I do enjoy Buzz's podcast, <laughs> whom I met in Las Vegas, and he was quick to advise wow. me. So, is yes. that what you're saying, Buzz? Well, it is mine. <laughs> do you remember meeting Mark? No, um, you met a lot of people. You, met, Buzz. you were very popular. I did meet some lovely people there. I described Buzz this morning as the club captain of the podcast. Club captain, yeah, yeah. okay. Not the, not the game day no, captain. No, I'm captain. Yeah, but Raymond played Talamara. That's you. Was you're Raymond captain. for Talamara. And that's Dogs you. And and how, exactly. That's my point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big Broncos fan, but my question is regarding the Bulldogs. With them Ooh. short of quality half and Chad Townsend being off contract, would he likely be a destination in 25? Well, you mentioned that before, didn't you? Why don't you guys say Buzzy that did. before? Off air. That's not the worst uh, call ever. I, I don't Look, Chad's slowing down, but... Yeah. He's playing all right. He is playing all right. He was really good against Newcastle. Uh, one, field goal. one in the game and kicked his... He did what Adam Reynolds did to him last week yeah, against yeah. Newcastle. That's a, that's a good idea. Good idea. All right. Rick Gus and tell him, do you deal with Gus? Who? No, he blocked me ages ago. No, but what could... You, if you rang him or text... No, he wouldn't answer. I'm now considered Little Buzz, they call me. Because they keep bagging the Bulldogs and little buzz. Gus. There's worse things you recall, be called, well, Not many. <laughs> <laughs> David, this one's for you, Buzz. We all know how much Buzz loves his air-fried salmon. Well, I have news uh, that will rock his world. I use my air fryer to make hard-boiled eggs. Ridiculous. 15 minutes at 120 degree, and you have the perfect boiled egg. Come on over for dinner, Buzzy. Eggs and salmon, salmon straight from the air fryer. Pass. <laughs> You're not going to David's house? No. You know one of the things I really hate? My own boiled never eggs. Oh, I love I boiled love eggs. eggs yeah. I hate them. Very good for you too, Brent. I love boiled eggs. Boiled eggs? Hard boiled eggs? Yeah. I'd yeah. cop a soft boiled egg and we'd get the soldier and you dip it in. I did have one, an email, I can't remember, saying, um, can someone make chicken Kiev? I think they asked for. Chicken in an air fryer? No, just in general. Is that, it was that's just a Kiev's got like a, it's got stuff inside it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Sorry, I've, I've saw that along, I don't know if it was an email or... Was, we got it, was this, it a recipe, was it? Or? No, they just asked us if someone could make it for dinner. And what, put a photo up? Or? I'm not sure. This is strange. All right. We've got one, we've got some uh, vision here, Buzz. Well, this is this? from Samin. Um, what is it? Look at this, Buzzy. Buzzy. <laughs> I was watching videos on ancient, on ancient Egypt on YouTube and this came across my feed. Didn't know Buzz was moonlighting. Can you ask him if he has a doctorate like Ross from Friends? Well, what a ridiculous photo. <laughs> <So> <laughs> he could have his well, own he podcast. He doesn't even have red cheeks. Uh, uh, he doesn't have first capillaries. <laughs> <laughs> have a look at him. He's got perfect skin. So for those that are listening on the uh, on the podcast, you have to get on to YouTube and search oh, yeah, YouTube, uh, right. the NRL Daily Telegraph NRL podcast to see what we're um, looking <laughs> that's at. Unc- that's but uncanny. If you've got any um, lookalikes for any of us, particularly Buzz or Reedy, I get Craig Bellamy a bit. <laughs> what? Back in the day. When I was a bit younger and thinner in the face. Did you hear what he just said? <laughs> no, I'm texting. What did you say? <laughs> he reckons he looks like Craig Bellamy. No, I said I used to get Craig Bellamy a bit back in the day when I was younger and thinner in the face. Did you? Uh, uh, next you week, like if you're on next week, I'm going to put that photo up of the ferry, the ferry driver. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes. All right, stay tuned for that next week. We've got a perfect oh, look-alike. I'm going to have back. dinner. You're I'm going to have a back. perfect look-alike for, for Reedy. Uh, dinner. Ready? Uh, would you believe every time I come to this po- podcast, it seems that my wife's away. Right? <laughs> so she's away again tonight. So I've got dinner. So this is one of those nights where I make what I like. Yeah. So two weeks ago, I think it was, I made lamb, crumb lamb yeah. cutlets. I had like six of them, smashed them, loved them. Yeah. Tonight, 
pork belly. Nice. Pork belly, I like cook it, crispy skin, beautiful pork belly, and I'm gonna have a bit of salad, and maybe, you know what we're gonna have with it? I'm gonna cook the pork belly, and beside it, I'm gonna cook some zucchini, some like baked zucchini. You ever nice. baked zucchini? I love baked yes. zucchini. Yeah. I've had so baked zucchini. So that's the plan, I'm gonna bake zucchini. Right, you have a glass of red? Oh. Bottle of red? One. <laughs> I am, we had Chinese last night. Yep. I'm gonna do chicken schnitzel nice. in the electric fry pan. you do it pan. yourself? No, I'll, uh, I'll you stop it with chicken. Crumb. Crumb. Yeah, yeah. Just don't, right. get, got a joint. don't get photographed when you're at the shops this time. No, no, what about that bloke in Coles? Buzz getting Come cut on. to Coles. I got Pat buying a kilo, <laughs> half a kilo of ham. Yeah. Can I say that's Can I, a bit, pick oh, a, oh, Let me finish. <laughs> so I'll put them in the... Uh, what do you mean the electric fry pan? I have that? found an electric fry pan. The old school thing? Yeah, yeah, mm. love it. I have found. Is that the country kitchen? In the fry, you know what I've found in the frozen aisles? Is that the country kitchen? Roast duck fat potatoes, outstanding. You cook them in the oven. Yeah, yeah. Twenty minutes. Yeah. Do you like duck fat spuds? No, uh, yeah. Clara, that's how Clara cooks them when she cooks them. Basically, yeah, she cook yeah. them out of the oven. Then she gets some duck fat. In, or she cooks what? them in duck fat. Cooks them in duck fat. What are you having? Uh, we're having lemon chicken. Oh, oh can I recommend you put a bit of garlic and rosemary <laughs> in there? I'll Listen, just quickly. I think that. that's very lazy. What? Crumb, what? crumb your own schnitzel. No. Ah. Well, no. if you find a butcher, well, mate, I'm actually working. No. Well, if my you, life's at work okay. today. If you see, ladies and gentlemen, if you see Buzz out and about buying his groceries, send us a photo in. I'll be at the Caring Bar Shopping Village. <laughs> Otherwise, enjoy your footy. Thanks for joining the Daily Telegraph NRL podcast. See you guys. Bye.